This one is a song called Avoidance of Any Doubt. It's about uh, going out for a date with somebody and they say they'll call and they don't, so you send them a solicitor's letter. Dear sir, we are writing to you on behalf of our client who is very distressed. Cause sir, she did furnish to you her relevant numbers and her email address. A aforementioned client feels hard done. A aforementioned numbers remain all wrong. We hope you'll note this matter as a serious one and for avoidance of any doubt. She Waiting by the phone, waiting by the fax Going to check the post, heading out to fast track Charging up her cell, hoping for a text Opening up her emails, not a word from you Not a single word Dear sir, it is further alleged On an earlier occasion in the January That you did then solemnly pledge to call or text a client and to further agree in a period not exceeding every soon to have tried to take her out to dinner any number of times. Sir, we deem this period to now have expired for avoidance of any doubt. She's waiting by the phone, waiting by the fax, gone to check the post, heading out to fast track. Charging up her cell, hoping for a text, opening up her email, giving up a FedEx. Would it have been so hard for you to send her a nitsy bitsy mail or a teeny weeny letter? We put it to you, sir, you've been found out beyond all reasonable doubt. She's waiting by the phone, waiting by the fax, gone to check the post, heading Charging up her cell, hoping for a text, opening up her email, all she gets is John Perry. Waiting by the phone, she's waiting by the fax, she's going to check the post, she's heading down to fast track. Charging up her cell, hoping for a text, opening up her email, not a word from you. Not a single word, what's our client to do? Notwithstanding regards to same, our client here for two remains, waiting by the phone, mm -hmm. waiting all alone. Oh, sir.